Okay, so this video is on a free uh, procedural cloth shader, not made by me. It's actually made by S uh, Simon Thomas. He's an incredible artist, but he also makes these really cool products, this one being that one. So if you want to get this, um, I'm going to leave the, um, the link in the description for this, but it's a Gumroad link. You can also go to Simon's website, which I will also link in the description, uh, and you can see all the products he makes. This one's really amazing, got some cool stuff, but we're gonna talk about this one. So I'll show you how to import it really quick. Just go to File, Append, and then find where you placed the folder or the, the blend file, this one calling Knitter, and then going into Material, and then just append all those. And then you can find them in the Shader menu on the dropdown. So we're gonna open up this one. And here it is, um, in all its glory. It's a really, really cool shader. Let's go into the node editor and I'll show you how it works. So, so here it is. Turn off my overlay so you can kind of see it. So over here, these are some of the, the parameters. You can go to the division and make it smaller. Actually, this, this blanket will definitely be, look better with a smaller one on there. And then you can go let's say into the fuzziness and that that's these little uh actually never mind but yeah that's the fuzziness kind of makes it a little less clear of how you know that's put in we got distortion gives it a little more realism some shape uh i wouldn't really touch that and then we got shape of the thickness wouldn't really touch that either and then we got the fibers so down here we have the color of our fuzziness. It's these little squiggles here. Um, you can go change the color of them, leave it at default. And then over here we have a couple more. We can change the overall color of this. Get maybe a color like that. And then you can change this right here. Let's see what do we want. Let's put it right about there. And then you can sort of edit in the color ramp the size of these, you can kind of make it now a striped blanket um, if you want. And so that's this one. Also we have two more, this Compose Color. So you can give a little bit of randomness in that, some uh, clarity. And yeah, so that's this example. Go to the other one. Let's see, this one. This one's really cool, I love this one. Um, so you can go back, it still has those same uh, same uh, in the knitter base settings right here. Same ones basically how it works. Fuzziness up here. We got some more. But I got a couple other uh, ways to play with it. Sort of messing with it. And then of course we have our colors. And yeah, that's that's basically the um, how it works. It's, it's amazing. It's definitely going to come in handy for some of my renders that I want to do. I was actually looking for something like this last week. Thank goodness he released this today. But it's it's incredible. It really is amazing. And I'm so happy that he released it for free. This is something I would pay for. Um, so, yeah, feel free to go download that and send him a note. Tell him thank you. And, yeah, thanks for watching.